15. That was the Kings of Leon Radioactive. I want to talk to you about the Red, White, and Blue Golf Tournament going down at Tama Hills. It's going on Saturday, July 19th, starting at 7 a.m., and they've got a shotgun start, so that means you got to get yourself signed up ASAP so you can get in on this because uh, they're going to have a breakfast, they're going to have an awards luncheon, and prizes will be presented to all the winners, so you don't want to miss out on your chance to be a winner. If your golf game is up to par, no pun intended, I don't know about you, mine is absolutely terrible. And uh, participants will play games of two-person best ball and uh, best buddy golfing, so shout out to Tom Hills. Make sure you holler at them and uh, get on over there. And right now, I have a caller on the line. Eagle 10 who's this? Kellen, good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Cecil? I get your last show today, right? It is my last show today. Yes, it is. That's the only reason I'm calling after yesterday's episode. I don't really feel like calling much at all. I, I really don't understand, Cecil, where, where we got off to a bad note. I was just asking you some questions about, you know, basically what I was told by uh, Buddy. on What's his name? Buddy? I, Bush and Buddy Flagstaff. You know their names. <laughs> you went behind my back and emailed electricsquarednciahoo.com. You went right ahead and did that to get uh, material for your show, Kellen. <laughs> I, I'm a show business veteran myself. I know what it's like. See, so I'm just trying to figure out who, like, more about you. Because, you know, you've been calling here. We actually got to meet you and everything. You came in the studio. Very appreciative. But I just wanted to know a little more about Mr. Cecil Breeze because there's not a lot of, of, of info out there. Kellen, I keep it that way on purpose. I don't like to have my public life on display. Now, you told me yesterday <laughs> Pat Coleman was going to be in the studio. Where is he? I, I'm not really sure where Mr. C is at. Um, and uh, Mr. Mark Sullivan is on his way at the at the moment. He's on his way up. He's on his way. Kellen, you told me 7.15. Yeah, I, I did. And that's That was the time that I was given. But, you know, some things came up this morning. So uh, it's not really working out as scheduled. Kellen, Cecil. I'm getting divorced. I know. What's, how's that going? What do you, Kellen, what do you mean? I'm signing the paperwork today. You're going to sign it? Me and Dingo both are. Yeah, yeah. it's over. Why are you not going to try to work things out? Now, me, Dingo and the Team Breeze, Kellen, that's all I need. That's all I need. And I have a little something to announce about possibly. It kind of worked out, actually. Going to England. You're going to England? Possibly. I'm, I might have confirmation today. I just I got word from an old friend of mine named Lord Wigley. He's a lord from the, the House of Lords in England. So you're going... What? How, how did that work? Well, he, we knew each other back in the day. He was on Team Breeze. I trained him up, and he said something about Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II giving me an honorary knighthood for getting Lord Wigley in shape years ago. Really? My contributions so, to physical fitness in the, uh, the, the United Kingdom. Yes. Now, would you be doing this if you weren't also getting a divorce? Or is that the big thing? I mean, oh, my, my soon-to-be ex-wife would put the kibosh on it, watch me sit around all day. Make meals for her, do laundry, all this other stuff. I, I just, you know, I want to live my life, Kellen. I'm 75 years old. I got to get moving and grooving with things. Yeah, you, you most certainly do. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think you're at a good, you st- I mean, good point in your life because you still are in shape. You're still working out. Oh, and you, you know it. You still plan on doing the Central Japan uh, Bodybuilding Figure Championships, correct? I ha- well, I, I have to think about it. Saturday, just, July 26th? You just got a few Saturdays, Cecil. I know, Kellen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it out, I think, but I, I'm going to lose my key spouse status after I sign that paperwork. Uh, well, I, I don't... I will have to look into that. Well, actually, if Pat Coleman shows up, we'll be able to ask him if you'll still be able to be in it, because... Well, let's I, ask him if he shows up, Kellen. Now, listen, I do have to do, have to do some things. I got to run. Okay. I'm, I'm, look, I, I'm in, is there, in a good mood today, Kellen. Don't is, ruin it for me. Okay, well, is there any way we could get you back on later? Because uh, I do have Mark Sullivan on his way, and then uh, Mr. Mike Larkin is actually going to be on the show later today as well. I have no interest in talking to either one of those two. All the only right. way I'm going to call back is your last show. That's why I'm doing it. All right, well, I do appreciate that, Cecil. What, 10 minutes? Uh, no, I have uh, I have C- um, any F Sugi's captain Stephen Weeman actually coming up here in a minute, but uh, around seven forty-five would be nice. I could do that. I've got a lot of emails on paperwork to get to, Kellen. I should be able to call back, but it's your last show. That's the only reason I'm calling back <laughs> after yesterday. I'm still hot. All right, Cecil. <laughs> I'm not a good kind of hot. A bad hot. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm looking forward to talking to you again, Cecil. 744, that was Capital Cities with their song, One Minute More. It's the Morning Cruise Control, Senior Aaron McKellen Carr, and I have in the studio with me right now, 
Yakota's O Club manager, Mr. Mark Sullivan. Good morning, Mark. How you doing? I'm great. Yourself? You know what? I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You're hanging so, in there, huh? I'm hanging in there. Yeah, we're. Uh, you know, I liked how you, you, when you first came in. You were talking about World Cup soccer. How you were watching I was, I was Germany stunned. get blitz, blitzing uh, Brazil. It was that. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, uh, blitzkrieg, probably more <laughs> like. Yeah, I think I think all the Second World War cliches are going to come in because I I mean it was just I I was saying you know I've been watching the tournament since 1990. And I have never, ever seen anything, certainly not in a semifinal. It was unbelievable. I mean, they just utterly dismantled uh, Brazil. And I think, uh, obviously, with their two big players going out, I think that, that hurt them a lot. And they looked like it. I mean, they just did not look like the team that uh, has played up through the tournament thus far. So, Mark, if we were having any more average Joes, I'd have to bring you in, brother. You, you, uh, well, you, I think you're knowledgeable about your soccer. I, I, right I, uh, yeah, and there, <laughs> I think there's somebody on the show that's bashing soccer, saying it's not a real sport or something, like putting it in a league <laughs> with bowling or something. Yeah, yeah, you heard that. I think I did. Yes, yes you did hear that. Uh, it's the beautiful game. It's, Everybody, the whole world watches it. We got a... a Hello, Eagle Eighteen. Who's this? Kellen. Yes. Did those people show up? I got Mr. Mark Sullivan in the studio with me right now, Cecil. Where's Pat Coleman? Pat Coleman's not here. It's just Mark. He may be still asleep. <laughs> well, he could be. I, I should be. I should go wake him up. But why? Why would you go wake him up, Cecil? That cucks. Are we on the private line? <laughs> no, Cecil. We're on live right now. Oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Cecil. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Mr. Sullivan. How are you? I'm wonderful. I was hoping you were going to be here this morning because I thought I thought maybe for Kellen's last show you would actually be here today. Well, Mark, my knees are bugging me to beat the band. To beat I can't. I can't quite make it. I'm getting divorced today. I'm signing paperwork. I'm, my life's a mess. <laughs> that does sound pretty bad. That's, that's that's a pretty bad day. I'm at the bottom of the barrel. At eight o'clock in the morning, it's Mark. It started off that you know it started off terrible yesterday with this whole Butch Flagstaff, Buddy Flagstaff business, and I don't know. I just I, my life is in kind of a kind of a downward spiral. Well, you and, and the whole country, Brazil, I guess, huh? <laughs> I don't follow soccer much. Real Americans don't follow that stuff. We all know that. Who are we kidding? We pretend like we like soccer, but we really don't. Some of so us do. Who? Some of us do. I think the country's changing, Cecil. I don't know. I do. What do you follow soccer? I have for many, many years. Uh, oh, I have it on good authority. Your wife is an American. <laughs> Your authority's not very accurate. <laughs> well, I have it on good authority. She's a, a soccer lover. Well, she is, but she's not American. <laughs> I just said that. Right? She's not American, correct? Oh, you said, it sounded like you said she is, is American. American. Isn't? No, I said she's not American, so she must follow soccer. <laughs> it's the rest of the world. Where, what, what do you think she is? I heard. I heard she's from England. Indeed. How, how do you know that, Cecil? I have it on good authority, Kellen. Uh, uh, and if okay. this so happens, I might be going to England. You're going to England for what? I told you earlier about Lord said, Wigley. Lord Wigley. Yes. <laughs> Mark, do you know who Lord Wigley I don't is? Know. <laughs> Look up Lord Wigley. He's a member of the House of Lords. Old friend what? of mine. I got him in shape. And Queen Elizabeth is recognizing that, that I got him in shape. And I'm being honored for physical fitness. An honorary <laughs> knighthood, Kellen. How about uh, that? Uh, listen, Cecil, hold on for a second. I got I to gotta, I gotta ask Mark. Mark came in because he had he had some things he wanted to get out in, uh, um, concerning well, the... So up here. All right. Well, Indeed, uh, hold on. Hold on. We're, we're going to give you your chance to talk. But listen, I got to talk with with Mark for a moment. Mark, you know, you had some uh, some news things going on with the Oak Club. Indeed. Yeah. We're uh, um, sadly we're going to be closing uh, for a major renovation. Oh, uh, business kitchen. ain't good. Business isn't good. No, business is actually booming. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're actually doing extremely well. We're real happy with the way things have progressed along. But uh, unfortunately, the building is old, kind of like you, Cecil. So we're going to have to do some renovation oh, work. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, like you said, you're in. You know, your knees are shot. Well, our our ceiling shot. So we're gonna have to do a little work on on the club. Yeah, my ceiling's just fine. I'm, I'm got my wits about me everywhere I go. Well, that the, may well. I I guess your ceiling's fine, but ours isn't. So our knees are in good shape. But it's gonna take a little while for us to get it sorted out. And uh, we probably will close for. Well, actually, the date of closure is the 19th of July. Uh, from that point forward, uh, we'll probably take a, at least two months uh, worth of renovation work, uh, and then they're going to fix some mechanical stuff after they finish 
Um, as, as is the case with many of these old buildings here uh, in uh, Yakota, the, there's some asbestos, so they have to abate that. And uh, so it's going to take us down for a little while, but uh, we're excited. Hopefully uh, sometime in the fall, we're looking at maybe sometime in October, we'll be able to reopen again. Oh, so business pretty- must really be bad, Mark. No, actually, as I was saying, Cecil, things are great. Oh, denial. I was just, I actually, we were there just a couple Fridays ago for a, a retirement ceremony, and uh, yeah, business was uh, booming, Cecil. So, <laughs> I don't know what you've heard, or you obviously haven't been there lately. Oh, well, I can't, I can't go, remember? No, my security guys escorted you out. I saw Rod Bradish and Pat Coleman eating at Chichino's or Chi-Chi's or Chico's, that Mexican place inside. The, the Mexican steakhouse? Yes. Cecil, have you been around Dakota for a while? A very long time. I, that was my first time at Chico, so it was my last time, too. Do, do you know who Chico is? No. He, he's actually a, he was a waiter, a very famous waiter, uh, and they dedicated the restaurant's name to him, to his namesake. He'd worked at uh, Yakota Oscars Club for almost 50 years. True so. story. True story. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so. fascinating story. That, <laughs> that's why I thought. I, that, I'd like to go to Chico's, but I'm not allowed. Well, you could be my personal uh, guest. I would invite you. As a matter of fact. Oh, to, it's a booby trap. I can smell it a mile away. <laughs> I would never do that to you. You Cecil. did it to me last time. Your security team came and escorted me out. I had my I am Cecil Breeze shirt on. I had my fanny pack out. No, you're not up to dress code. Well, the truth of it is I don't have a security uh, crew. <laughs> I, Who are these people? I, I don't know. They must have been something that uh, maybe uh, Rod Bradish or maybe Pat Coleman had had. So they were a little bit concerned. And maybe, that makes sense. maybe they had people. Yeah. They could, they could have. Well, I mean, I didn't see the the people uh, that uh, that you're describing. And as a matter of fact, I, I don't can't I can't recall the last time that uh, that Pat has come in for dinner. But uh, maybe it's just a fantasy. Oh, he was there. His plate was all full. I, I, I maybe he had people, Mark. That makes Cecil, a lot of sense now. Cecil, I, honestly, though, you know, in the time that I've known uh, Mr. Sullivan, he, I don't see him. He didn't strike me as the type of individual that's going to send any kind of security team on anyone. Karen, and, uh, there is skullduggery everywhere all over this base. <laughs> I, I, I love my customers. I love my members, yeah. Cecil. I'd love to have you. He actually invited you. To, remember, he asked you out to do the uh, the square dancing at one point in time. He said you could come out there, uh, you and Rod Radish or whoever else could have Karen, a... That was until my, that, my world got turned upside down by Electric Square Dance at Yahoo.com. I've been talking about this for weeks now, and that's what I've been devoting, devoting my time to. And, and that, it took a wicked twist yesterday... Because he revealed that you're Cecil Breesberg. I didn't reveal that, Kellen. You did, because you went behind my back and emailed Electric Square Dance at Yahoo.com, and you got the answer you were looking for, I guess. <laughs> no, I really didn't get many answers. I just found out your real name. So, uh, But again, we, talking to uh, Mark Sullivan, the uh, O Club will be closed ju- starting July 19th. That's our la- 19th is our last, last night day. of business. Yeah, okay. And then from the 20th forward till probably mid-October, I'd expect, uh, is what the folks from the engineering squadron are telling so, us. So well, on the 19th, will it be a last hoorah, or will it just be kind of a chill, you know, hey, this is our last? It's, it's our last uh, night, but we've got two-for-one prime rib on Saturday nights, uh, which is fantastic. Cecil, you ought to come out. That our prime rib is second to none. Right to me. Yeah, you should come out. We could share a prime rib. You could have one on the house, and I'll pay for the other. Wow. Share, wait, share a prime rib. Well, what? I mean, it's two for one, so you get one, I get one, and I'll pay. Oh, what about dingo? Uh, and skull blade and snake legs. Well, snake team, legs. We're one team, one fight, Mark. I, I have a feeling snake legs and, and dingo are the same person. They're not the same person, Kellen. Get that idea out of your head. You're the only one I've met, Cecil. I haven't met the other ones, so... I, well, I, they're, Kellen, they're very real, and we are training very hard, and we're getting divorced, me and Dingo. No, not from each other, but from our spouses. Okay. Well, <laughs> Mark, is there anything else that you wanted to put out there, Mark? Because uh, we do appreciate you coming in, you know, taking time out of your busy schedule. <laughs> his over-brimming <laughs> schedule. <laughs> <My> over- <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, I just want to say it's been great uh, coming on the show the few times that I've had the opportunity to do it. And you're going to be really sorely missed. I think everybody knows that in the Yakota community. <laughs> So even Cecil would have to admit that. Uh, but uh, best of luck to you. Um, we'll see you around campus, I'm sure, too. So uh, don't be a stranger. No, definitely won't. And, uh, Mark, we do appreciate the work that you and uh, everyone at the Yakota Officers Club does. And uh, thank you for coming in and stuff and, and definitely uh, entertaining us with this Cecil breeze because Cecil's uh, coming at you with all these false allegations, Cecil. Kellen, I I, yes. I, my day is hard enough as it is already. Do not get me started. All right. I'm not going to get you started, Cecil. Please. Well, I'm going to let Mr. Sullivan go so he can get on with his day. And uh, thanks for calling in, Cecil. And, uh, again, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it.
Where? Eagle Eight's in. Who's this? Kevin, it's Cecil. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Eagle Eight's in. Oh, uh, Kevin, I'm here. Cecil. Hey, Cecil, what's up? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, beautiful Cam Zama. It's anything but. <laughs> Cecil, now you know it's beautiful down here at Cam Zama. Yeah, it wasn't beautiful with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey Cecil, what? I I went out looking for you, man. You know, you know, like that guy that's in that big old picture. What the name of it? Find the guy in the picture. Will, Waldo, where's yeah, Waldo? Yeah, Waldo. Where's Waldo? Right? Hey, everybody knows where's Waldo. Yeah, I know Cecil, but I went looking for Cecil Breeze, and you know, I went all over the Contro Plains. And I still can't we, find him. Look, and we hung out together, don't you remember? I, I remember we hanging out, but I'm still, you know. Foxy <laughs> Brown, Kyle Rush, lean on me. The Wiz, over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, you said, lean on me. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to find you. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to leave out of here, Larkin. Where are you going? England. England? Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. Why are you going? He said, Lord Wiggly. Who's, do you know who Lord Wiggly is, Mike? No. I don't know Lord Wiggly either, but apparently Cecil's going to hang out with Lord Wiggly. I'm going to get an honorary knighthood. Whoa, congratulations. Thank you very much. Hey, can I get knighthood? My name is Larkin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I might get, can I get a crown? Kevin, are we done here? I, I thought you, hey, you called me. So hey, you told me to call. Well, oh. I, I thought you wanted to end things with Mike. Kevin, I have to go. Oh, hey, hey Cecil Breeze. I'll still be looking for you, you know, and, and, and I thank you very much, you know, for hanging out with me. And I hope we can still be friends. I, I, I will consider it. Okay, thank you, Cecil. <laughs> because, uh, you know, all my peeps out there, right, they say, yo, man, what'd you do to Cecil? I say, I don't know. I got to talk to him because they know my personality. They know I'm not like that. They say I'm a friendly, lovable type of guy. <laughs> okay. You don't believe that? I, I have to go. <laughs> C- Cecil, you there? Okay. Cecil, then left. Okay. I guess we lost Cecil. Oh well, then from beautiful Camp Zama, and uh, I would like to thank Eagle Eight Ten for the airtime. And uh, I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to holler at Cecil Breeze. <laughs> ah. I, I got the I got the I am Cecil Breeze shirt for you too, Mike. Huh? I got the I am Cecil Breeze shirt for you. Oh, I, I'm we definitely rock. I definitely gonna wear it around. Uh, I, I'm gonna come see you. All right, most definitely come do that, man. It's been a pleasure having you on each and every other or each and every Wednesday, Mike. And thank you very much for everything you do. Oh no, thank you, thank you. And I, I I'm coming to see you. All right. I'll let you. Peace. Take care, brother. Nine forty-five. Eagle eight ten. Who's this? Kellen, it's me. I'm calling Cecil, back. Cecil, holy moly. I'm Kellen, just... I was calling earlier. I was uh, I was actually on the toilet. See. When I talked to Larkin, I don't know why I, I couldn't uh, just call back at a later time. I thought you were done for the day, Cecil. It's my last show, man. I'm trying to you wrap Kellen, things up. You told me to call back. I did not tell you to call back. This Kellen, last. I've, I, Ken, I'm so confused right now, Ken. We had a conversation. You were so bipolar at times. <laughs> Cecil, I never told you to call back, Cecil. Well, I'm ca- here. I am. All, all right, here you are. Here you are. My last show, I got 15 minutes left in my show. Oh, great. And That's you, plenty of time. <laughs> no, you're not going to have the whole 15 minutes. I got music to play. I got a weather and yen rate to do. W- what do you need, Cecil? Ke- well, Ken and I wanted to talk one last time about my hatred for Pat Coleman. Oh, okay. What What else could you possibly reveal? You don't I like him because... Kellen, I'm leaving. Kellen, I'm leaving for England. We're going away. I'm going to have an honorary knighthood coming up from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. For my actions with Lord Wigley and getting him in physical shape, I'll be Sir Cecil Breeze. All right, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm I'm so excited I'm for you. I'm getting divorced, but I wanted I wanted to circle back and talk about Pat Coleman. Well, okay, Cecil. All right, listen. I thought you'd revealed several times why you don't like Pat Coleman because he left the group. He was Fraggle Rock. He left the group. We get it. Kellen, have you seen the movie Nine and a Half Weeks? No, I have not. With Mickey Rourke. <laughs> no, I. There's not too many Mickey Rourke movies. What? So what does that have to do with anything? Mickey Rourke, Nine and a Half Weeks what? That lead role was supposed to go to Cesar Romero. Okay, and it didn't. It went to Mickey, so... Cesar Romero is my, 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 uh, my brother. Your lover? My brother. I said my brother. You said your lover brother. Now, see, now, Kellen, those funny rumors have got to stop. Cesar this... Romero was my brother. That role was supposed to go to him in Nine and a Half Weeks. Okay. And it was one of the biggest cases of age discrimination that Hollywood has ever seen. Yeah, well, 
Yeah, I'm, so what does that have to do with Pat Coleman? I'm, Pat I'm really Coleman looks like Mickey Rourke. He looks just like him. He's a, he's a stain. He looks just like Mickey Rourke, and I can't stand it. So because of the way Pat Coleman looks, why would you ever invite him into your group then? K Kellen, it's what? Not, you're missing the point. No, he didn't I'm, look like Mickey Rourke back then, but as he aged, he got a little rougher and leathery looking, and he looks like Mickey Rourke now more than ever. So that's the reason why you continue to dislike him. One of, one of the primary reasons, and I haven't been to the Samurai Fitness Center in quite some time because of the cold shoulder. Because of the cold shoulder? And that, I don't know why the Colonel Fruit of the Loom or whatever he was didn't talk to me the other day. Who are you, who are you talking about? Colonel Vine, Fruit of whatever. Colonel Vineyard? Yeah. FSS commander? Well, hello? Yes. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't talk to me the other day at the, the, the Celebrate America. Well, Cecil, you're pretty abrasive. Can you not blame him for wanting to talk for not wanting to talk to you? I wouldn't want to, Kellen. I've got I, I have a lot of friends, Kellen. I got Skullblad, I got Dingo, I got And you used to have a lot more. Sherwood Forest and uh West oh, Bank, Kellen, Gaza don't Strip. Get me going what again, happened to Kellen. those guys? They Kellen, they, they quit Kellen, the group. I'm calling Kellen, I'm calling one last time to say goodbye. All right, well I appreciate that. I go to that. England with Dingo, Snake Legs. And uh, Skullblade, we're leaving uh, pretty soon. As soon as I sign these divorce papers, we're out of here. We lose our key spouse status. I can't do anything about it. Well, you know what? Congratulations to you, gentlemen. You're going to be some uh, eligible bachelors. Maybe you'll find some nice women in England. Thank you very much, Kellen. That'll put up with your Kellen, stuff. Hello? Yes. It was very nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you as well. And I'd like just, just to say goodbye. The other boys, they're here, and they're waving goodbye. They say goodbye, Kellen. All right. Well, goodbye to uh, the rest of them, whichever, whoever's left in the group. I told you who's left Dingo, in the group. Dingo and Snake Legs are the same person. They are not, Kellen. Yes, it is. Oh, don't. Oh. Y yes. Don't, Kellen. No, and they're then not the Skullblade, same And Skullblade, I've never even heard or seen Skullblade, so, okay. Skullblade doesn't want to talk to you on the phone. Well, he's, he's I can. phone shy. All right. Kellen, I, I have to go. I can't keep doing this with you. I Okay, Cecil. That's a new start. New start for Team Breeze. A new start for Team Breeze. Well, it's going to be a new start for myself as well, and I wish you the best of luck, Cecil. God bless Team Breeze <laughs> and all that we're going to do in the future. And, Kellen, uh, good, good luck. All right, Cecil. You take care, brother. God bless me, Team Breeze.